Hello everyone. We have this problem to deal with. X plus 1 to the power of 3 equals 27. We are instructed to solve this completely. So we have X plus 1 to the power of 3 equals 3 to the power of 3. This is because 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. If we equate the basis because the powers are the same, we'll have just one solution and we need more than one solution for this. So what do I do? Take this to the left. So we have x plus 1 to the power of 3 equals, okay, negative. This comes out to become negative 3 to the power of 3 and this is equal to 0. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to use difference of two cubes. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b into bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is what we have. And for this now, our a is equal to x plus 1 and our b is equal to 3. So let's substitute into this problem. So in place of a minus b, I'm going to write x plus 1 minus b, which is 3. That's what we have in the first bracket. Then in the second bracket, a squared becomes x plus 1 squared. Then plus a b, a is still x plus 1 then multiply by b, b is 3, plus we have b squared, which is 3 squared. Then everything is equal to 0 from there. Now we have x minus 2, because 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Then we open bracket, we expand this. The expansion of this one will give us x squared plus okay we have to multiply by x multiply by one that would be two x then plus one squared one squared will still give us one that is the expansion of this one then plus three times x is three x and three times one is plus three then plus three squared that is nine we close and equate to zero now we have um, x minus 2, the common factor. Then here we have x squared plus 2x plus 3x. That will give us 5x. 1 plus 3, that is 4. 4 plus 9, that is 13. So we have plus 13 here. We close this and then we equate to 0. Now we have two factors multiplied to get zero. It means that either of them or both of them is equal to zero. So x minus two is equal to zero or x squared plus five x plus 13 is equal to zero. Now let's work on the linear equation here. So x will be 0 plus 2, meaning that x is equal to 2, and this is the real solution to the problem. But now, th but now that we are supposed to solve it into detail, we will pick this quadratic and try to you know, solve it. Now, to solve this quadratic equation, we use the formula to do it. And in the formula, if you can recall, we have a, b, c. A is the coefficient of x squared, that is 1. B is the coefficient of x, and that is positive 5. And our C is the constant, which is 13. Now, the next target is to get the formula. So, do you know the formula offhand? If no, look at it here. X is equal to... The formula does not always begin with x. The unknown variable in the equation 
determines the subject of the formula. So x is the unknown variable. Therefore, x will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. Now, what I will do is to substitute into this formula. So our x will now be minus b becomes minus 5. Plus or minus, our b is 5, so we have 5 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 and c is 13. Now this is divided by 2 times 1, which is still 2. x will now be equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 13 is 52. Then we divide this by 2. To go ahead, our x will be minus 5 plus or minus square root of negative 27 because 25 minus 52 is negative 27 and we divide that by 5. Our next target is how to proceed with this square root of negative number. So x is now minus 5 plus or minus square root of 27 times square root of negative 1, everything divided by 2. So that square root of 27 times square root of negative 1 will give us square root of negative 27. Let's go ahead. From here, our x will now be negative 5 plus or minus. This 27 can be broken into 9 times 3. Then times square root of negative 1 as we divide all through by 2. X will now be equal to negative 5 plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3. Then we have root 3. Then multiply by square root of negative 1, which is imaginary, and we write it as i. Then you divide this by 2. To go ahead, we can rearrange this so that this i will multiply 3. So our x will now be negative 5 plus or minus 3i root 3 all over 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution because x is equal to minus 5 plus 3i root 3 over 2 or we have minus 5 minus 3i root 3 over 2. So from here we have the first value we have the second value of x, and right here, we have the first value of um, x. But the truth is um, there is no real solution for the equation, because both of them are complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Okay, I made a mistake. Hold on there. I know you are thinking. Remember, we were supposed to have three solutions. We had the first solution before, okay? The first solution is x to be equal to 2. And that is our x1, right? This is our real solution. But these two here are complex solution. So the equation has one real solution, which is x equals 2. Thank you for watching. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe to the channel and share this to your friends.